In this series of videos, we've been looking at budgets. In this video, we're going to prepare a manufacturing overhead budget. And again, this is a pretty straightforward budget. So let's read through it and see what we see. Uh, Singular Inc. budgets direct labor hours for 2013 as follows. And so again, this would come off of a, a direct labor budget. And you would prepare your direct labor budget based on your production budget, right? You need to know how many you're going to produce. That tells you how many employees you need. And you would figure out your direct labors from there, direct labor hours from there. And so there they are. It says the company's variable overhead rate is $5 per hour. The company's fixed overhead is $30,000 a month, and this includes depreciation of $5,000. Prepare the company's MOH budget for the first quarter. Easy peasy, right? We're going to go, okay, here's our variable overhead, here's our fixed, our total overhead, and we're basically done. So let's do it. Uh, name of the company, Singular Inc. Name of the budget. Uh, actually, not name. Yeah, name of the budget. And we're doing a manufacturing overhead budget. And we're going to date it for the quarter ended March 31st. And of course, January, February, March, and quarter one of the year. Uh, okay, so let's figure this out. Our variable overhead is $5 per hour. In January, we had 10,000 hours, so our variable overhead for January is $50,000. Again, it's just that $5 per hour rate times the 10,000 hours. Our variable overhead for February, 5 times 12, $60,000. Our variable overhead for March, 5 times 13, $65,000. So our total variable overhead, 50 plus 60 plus 65, I believe that is $175,000. Uh, our fixed overhead is $30,000 a month. Uh, 30, 30, 30. So that brings us 90,000 in total. Add these up. Total overhead is 80, 90, and 95. And 265 is my big total there. And you think, okay, we're done. You know, that's my total overhead. There's only one other thing we may want to consider, and that is at the bottom, a lot of these budgets we've learned how to prepare. It's like our direct labor cost in dollars, how much we're going to pay out in terms of labor. When it was materials, we did the cost of materials purchased. So what we might want to do at the bottom is actually to figure out how much money we're going to spend on overhead. And the reason they tell us this little bit about depreciation is because we know depreciation, no money changes hands. It's a non-cash expense. So if I want to know how much cash I'm paying out in my overhead, I have to deduct out depreciation. So let's deduct depreciation. That was $5,000 per month. 15000 in total. 75, 85, and 90. And this is going to be our cash paid for overhead. Now again, it wasn't specifically asked for, but it's not a bad thing to include. Uh, how much cash we pay for a given expense. Dollar sign at the top and at the bottom of each column. and we should be good to go. The only other question I might ask a class here is to calculate your overhead rate based on the direct labor hours. So again, the predetermined overhead rate is estimated MOH divided by the estimated base, which in this case is the estimated direct labor hours, whichever thing we determine is driving our overhead. So our estimated total overhead in this case is Two hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. Two hundred sixty-five, yeah, thousand dollars. 
our estimated total direct labor hours are 10, 12, and 13. That's 35,000 hours. So we can compute a rate, 265 divided by 35. And I get a rate of 757. $7.57 $7 per direct labor hour. For every hour I spend working, I estimate $7, seven and a half dollars of overhead. So it wasn't really in the question. The question is asked to prepare a manufacturing overhead budget. And there it is. We've prepared a manufacturing overhead budget. Stay tuned for the next budget.